Today, we talk about green steel production and ask the question, why is steel so carbon dioxide intense? In steel production, we stand every year for about one third of all the industrial greenhouse gas emissions with about 8% of the global emissions for producing about 1.9 billion tons of steel. We use for that about 3 billion tons of minerals, usually hematite mineral oxides. And we consume about 8% of the global energy for doing that. And the recycled content at a global average is about 35% in total. And the main quest is how can we get rid of these staggering carbon dioxide emissions associated with steel production. The consequence of carbon dioxide emissions for the planet is shown here using the latest data from the NASA Carbon Observatory from July 23. And we see that particularly through the enormous emissions on the Northern Hemisphere, where steel is a huge part of that, we are emitting enormous and staggering carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere. And we must answer the question how we can at least remove that portion that is coming from steel production. We have a five-fold acceleration in the consumption of all goods, particularly of metals and specifically of steels. That is due to the growth of population, of the gross domestic product per capita, which also fuels the individual consumption of metal goods. Then we have a rebound effect that comes from making green technologies such as windmill parks, electrical vehicles and so on, which require huge amounts of steels also. And of course, we have enormous growth in the production of infrastructures and cities and bridges and so on. And finally, we might have to protect our coasts against flooding due to global warming. And for coastal protection, again, you need huge amounts of steels and concrete, of course, also. And therefore, the forecast of the global consumption in steel stands currently with about 1.9 billion tons in 2022. And that is forecast to be about 2.5 billion tons by the year 2040. And when you compare that with the about two tons of carbon dioxide emitted per ton of steel produced, that tells you that by 2040, when we don't change our technology, we will emit the staggering amount of 5 billion tons of carbon dioxide every year into the air. And that quest has arrived at the markets. That means you must be able to provide to your downstream customers not only green steel, but also likewise the other metals like green aluminum, green nickel, and so on. This is shown here as an example for steel panel production, for instance, for a downstream car customer, where so far we had to provide products with a certain strengths and forming properties and certain functional properties such as corrosion. But in future, you must also be able to say, what is the recycled content of your product? What are the associated greenhouse gas emissions, the embodied energy, the green electricity that has been used, etc. And on that slide, you see the reason for these enormous carbon dioxide emissions. The underlying short form of the redox equation of steelmaking is shown here. You use carbon monoxide, which is produced in blast furnaces, which stand for about 70% of all the global steel production. And you make that carbon monoxide by exposing coke to oxygen that you blow into the blast furnace. And that reacts with the Fe2O3, which is a standard oxidic mineral that you put into a blast furnace and that reacts into carbon dioxide plus iron. And this explains very roughly where these enormous carbon dioxide emissions are coming from. Today we have that global average of about nearly two tons of carbon dioxide produced per ton of steel. And this is why we have to talk about green steel. And if you find that topic interesting and would like to learn more about the underlying science and stay tuned to the next video.